Hey, and welcome back to another video from my eBay parts or repair playlist, the playlist of videos where I go on eBay, Macari, OfferUp, and sometimes Facebook Marketplace, and I purchase broken electronic items and try and fix them on camera. What I have for you here today is this. Uh, it's a set of uh, two phones, a Nokia 6300, and what I believe is a Rocker Z6, Motorola Rocker Z6. I can't remember right off the top of my head. I think it was a Z6. Uh, I'll put it uh, up here um, if I uh, got it wrong, but I think it's a Z6. And uh, I got both of them for $7 plus free shipping. These actually, uh, I got a refund for these because Facebook Marketplace did not update the tracking number for some reason and it looked like it never shipped. It's just Facebook's Marketplace is still a bit rusty when compared to eBay, OfferUp and uh, Macari and this like I said it's this one's from Facebook and I actually got a refund but it eventually showed up uh, but I messaged the seller and told him hey these things showed up um, is there a way I can send you uh, send you the money and uh, he hasn't replied yet I'll probably just end up asking for his uh, for his uh, PayPal and just send him the money straight. But either way, seven dollars plus free shipping from the two of, for the two of these phones is a really good deal. The Motorola is really messed up. I don't know if it'll work, but the 6300 probably will work. Before we jump right in, as usual, don't forget to smash that like button down below and hit that subscribe button if you already haven't, uh, and ring that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm on Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. You can follow me on those using the links down in the description below. And now let's jump right into this video. So first off, you must be wondering why isn't this video available in 4K because uh, I switched to 4K videos. Uh, that's because uh, the 4K videos, I thought I'll res reserve them for the higher quality, nice B-roll and uh, in detail re reviews and stuff like that. I'll keep them for those. Uh, these videos, like these short repair videos that I do, I'm going to keep them at 1080p because 4K videos take a really long time to process in excess of about, I don't know, uh, the an average 4K, let's say 20 minute 4K video took about six hours to process on YouTube. Not my, my laptop gets it done within a few, I think five minutes or something. Uh, my Mac, new MacBook Pro M1 Max, but uh, YouTube's processing is, uh, it's, I don't know, Facebook, YouTube's processing is really, I don't know if it's supposed to last that long, six hours for a 20 minute video. The, the the 1080p portion usually gets done within about uh, half an hour to one hour, but uh, the 4K portion of it takes about six hours for a 20 minute video. So uh, we'll stick to 1080p for these styles of videos and for the more uh, B-roll and review and uh, fancy, fancy looking videos, we'll do 4K 30fps. Um, also, I bought that plant here, uh, if you're wondering, just to make the video look a bit better. It's going to be in all of my videos, especially these videos, because these videos need a bit more liveliness in them. So that plant, I bought it, bought it from uh, Amazon, from uh, Walmart for about eight bucks. So it's a nice addition. Oh boy, the Motorola is sticky. The back panel has completely gone sticky. Yeah, that, that's got to come off. So I gotta deal with that later. Um, let us now, just a minute, let me put my watch on, do not disturb, so people don't bug me. Okay, so that needs more work. That thing is really sticky. The 6300 is pretty dirty as well. That's why I'm wearing gloves, so let's keep this to a side. Always reuse your bubble wrap. I always reuse bubble wrap. Uh, seems like it has a battery. Oh, no, it doesn't. So this one is, made in hungary as you can see they're made in hungary and uh the mortal i kind of don't want to touch it right now how do you take the back cover off is it like that how do you take the back off i know it's a slider phone but uh the slider is also stuck this phone is in horrible oh water damage oh that white stuff that's calcium that's serious water damage um, is there a battery in this thing? Oh, I think if I press on this, there we go. So it's a BC60, uh, definitely water damage. There we go. So this phone is going to need a separate video to, uh, fix it. Uh, how do you get this battery out? Is this, do I press that? 
I don't know. We So we do not want to be plugging this thing to the wall. Okay, there we go. So definitely heavily water damaged. Uh, so it's a Z3. I think it's a Z3. I don't know. What, did I call it a Z6 before? Yeah, I think it's a Z3. There you go. Z3. Uh, it is a Z3. Sorry, I think I called it a Z6 before, but okay. Yeah, this phone has seen better days. 90% sure it's not gonna work. This thing has been screwed up and the water damage is severe. So most probably that phone is done for. 6300 probably will work, but we need to clean this. Is this thing water damage too? Um, I can't really say it doesn't have a... Well, yeah, it kind of does. Uh, I'm not really sure. You know what, before anything, let's clean these things out and be right back. They're really, really grubby. Be right back. All right, so I cleaned this mess up somewhat. It's really still dirty and there's a memory card in this one as well. It's a 128 megabyte memory card, which is the original memory card that came with this phone. Uh, I actually have one of these back home. Uh, it was my mom's phone and it's still, still over there. It still works and everything. So I know this memory card is a Nokia memory card. This one has been uh, used in uh, the uh, Middle East, as you can see, uh, Arabic writing. So probably, I don't know, Turkey or somewhere because the uh, seller, uh, his name sounded a bit Turkish, so he's probably from Turkey. Definitely used in the Middle East, maybe the Balkans, somewhere uh, somewhere around that uh, area. This one's T-Mobile, so this is probably his other phone when he came to the US. Um, let us put this thing, let's put this battery in there and see if this thing works. Uh, not ideal, but this battery, the BL5C should work with this phone. It should go in pretty easily as well uh oh yeah it does well it's not the bl5c is not this phone's ideal battery but it does go let's see if this thing works oh it vibrated and the lights are on nothing on the display no nokia sound is the display on nope there's definitely power oh you can hear it I don't know if you can, where's the speaker? Okay, so it's on, but the display is not working. Okay, so we gotta fix the display. Now, uh, like I said, we're not gonna deal with this phone. It's, we'll do that for another video. That phone is messed up. This being a Nokia, there's a higher chance of it surviving water damage. I think this one is water damaged as well. There's a bit of rust here. As you can see, there's a bit more rust. That's actually rust. So uh, I think both of these took a plunge and since both of them were in the, they're probably in the same bag or something and the bag probably fell in water. But the, the amount of uh, white, uh, the uh, calcium deposits over there, uh, that was a lot of calcium that I'm assuming after they fell in water, they were just left there. So they it may be not his phone either. Maybe he got them from somewhere, I don't know. Oh, I've taken one of these things apart in the past. We have these pins here. There are two screws there, I know that. Yeah, does this thing have other screws anyway? Let's get rid of this. This one still has its USB flap, which is strange because the USB flaps on these, well, not on the 6300, but, uh, well, yeah, the 6300 never had the USB flap falling off issue, I guess. That's stuck. It's completely stuck. Okay, there we go. A lot of gunk under there as well. Oh boy. This looks like a small spider's nest or something. It's a lot of junk as you can see there. Yeah, I need to clean this out a bit more. Um, let us separate this. So that's coming apart pretty easily. Okay, that was not supposed to come apart like that, but okay. Uh, is that a crack on the display? Ooh, the plastic is falling apart. Uh, I know this is a Nokia, and I know Nokias are better at surviving things, but I don't know. Display looks fine. Jeez, yeah, this thing was submerged. And it still works, even though it, look at that. That's messed up. Um, 
I forgot how you do this. Oh yeah, there's some more screws. Yeah, I have to clean my table out again. All these pins started falling off it. These, uh, cause it's not supposed to fall off like that, but whatever. Uh, those are the antenna pins. Uh, the screws are all rusted. Yeah, this phone definitely needs some TLC and that's an understatement. Um, let's get this open. Okay. And the thing still turns on, which is uh, even more testament to Nokia. Uh, just that does not quit. But um, yeah, let's get the memory card out of here. We cleaned the memory card. It probably still works. This is not a crack. I hope. No, it's like it's water. Um, come on out. Okay. Ooh not looking too good there not looking too good there mm-hmm not looking too good okay so there's like a pin like thing here where is it there we go and, and pull the display this is the display retainer and we have the display underneath this thing like thing and we can take the display off like that display will lightly clean it but look at it there's stuff I'm pretty sure the water got between the layers we might have to change this display we know the phone works but I want to see if anything appears on screen you know what I'm just gonna go straight up shove this in a bowl of uh, uh alcohol rubbing alcohol i'm not even gonna bother oh boy look at that i'm surprised it still turns on jeez let's get this off yeah that's been submerged for a while that's that's nasty i'll have to change my gloves again look at this thing it still works god damn yeah this one probably worse on the inside uh I don't know even how to begin. Let me go, I don't know how I'm gonna clean this. I'm just gonna shove all of them in like, I'm gonna shove the parts that like don't need alcohol in just a bowl of water and everything else, I'm just gonna shove in a big bowl of alcohol. Where's the speaker? Get the speaker out. I don't know if I can even take that off. Um, Speaker is over here, but the earpiece is over here. Let me figure this out and be right back. Okay, so the non-electrical parts are all just chilling in a bowl of soap water and uh, this part is going into the alcohol. Um, let me get the bottle here. I gotta get a new bottle of uh, rubbing alcohol here. And uh, that's about enough. Right over there, let's grab a toothbrush and let's go ahead and clean away at this disaster. Uh, it's not even going off that easily. Yeah, that stuff's not going off that easily. I'll have to let it soak for a while. Okay, there we go. Stuff is starting to fall off. There's a lot of damage and some of these parts, oh, actually can take these off. I thought these shields cannot be taken off. Let me... Okay, be careful when you take these things off because uh, you can cut your hand. Yep, there's more stuff underneath those as expected. Um, the small one, does it come off? Yep. That comes off as well. Let's just take them all off um, so that the alcohol also gets underneath there. Okay. Oh. Mm. Okay, there you go. So we can start scrubbing away. Now I'm not gonna record this whole thing. This is gonna take a while. So uh, I will uh, skip to when I'm done uh, cleaning this thing down. It's gonna take a while.
Okay, so everything is super clean as you can see here. Uh, this was one of the dirtiest parts. It's super clean. There's a bit of stuff that kind of uh, ripped off the paint. That's nothing major. Everything is super clean and good to go. This has a bit of glue-like stuff over it. Uh, oh, that's still water, okay. Um, but yeah, everything is clean and good to go. So is the boat and I've already put it in here and it still obviously works as you can see there. The issue is the display turns on it. You see the display is actually giving out light as you can see there. The display is giving out light. The only issue is it's not, it's not displaying anything. It's basically dead. Um, and the power button is screwed up as well. Uh, it kind of worked for some time and now it doesn't work anymore. So I turned it on by jumping the pins there like that. So uh, that is a thing. We have to repair the power button. And we have to see about the display later. We're gonna do that in part two of this video. Um, in For this part, like for part one, we're actually gonna go and try and get the Motorola working. Uh, but that is gonna be, I don't think I'll spend as much as time on that as I did this. But let's just go uh, try and see what we can do with that phone. All right, so we have the Motorola here and not looking too good. Uh, I don't know if I should even plug this in. Um, we're gonna either use my BK71. Oh, no, wait, I need this battery for the uh, Z12 prototype video. So we're not gonna screw that battery up. Let's go with its own battery. BC50, let's plug it in there. And we have the uh, weird charger there, the uh, USB mini type B. Um, let's get the cable here and let's hope nothing explodes. Um, if you see this video and um, yeah, if you see this video means I didn't die in an explosion. So yeah, okay, it didn't explode. Um, if not, I'll be dead. Anyway, three, two, one, let's go. Nothing explode. The okay, this is strange. The Nokia is supposed to be the one that turns on and the LCD works and everything. Well, I'm not saying that Motorola's were horrible. It's just like, look at the damage on this thing. Uh, is it even charging? It is charging. It wants a SIM. God damn it. Look at this thing. How is this thing working? How is this thing even working? Okay, kind of turned itself off again, but that's expected. I'm just surprised it even showed me some sort of power. Is that the power button? No, this is the power button. So, yeah, this thing is working, which is weird. The, the slider barely works. And this thing actually turns on. The LCD is fine. Um, I'm confused. Usually it's the Nokia's that work but i guess this one is well i'm not saying that motorola's are trash in terms of build quality but it's just that usually when something like this happens it's the nokia that's the one that works um you know what since we know it's working now let's not screw with it let's leave that to the side and we'll clean it in the next video uh part two of this video and we'll uh deal with it later do not want to be taking this thing apart right now Let's deal with it in that upcoming video. Anyway, definitely stay tuned for that video by hitting the subscribe button down below and ringing the bell notification button. Um, as usual, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my social media down in the description below. In the next video, we're gonna mess with the Nokia a bit more and this one as well. Uh, thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.